I saw the Stones when I was about 15 or 16 at a local dance. It was in a ballroom called the Rex in Cambridge. And the, I remember particularly the band played on the same level. There was no podium or stage. And so Mick Jagger was standing about this far away. I went to college because I thought I ought to learn more and harboured secret desires to be a filmmaker. These desires were in fact probably promoted partially by seeing Fellini and partly by substances that I won't mention. And um, I then went to film school as a result of this at the Royal College of Art, which was great. Read English and philosophy and then went to the RCA in London in 1966, can you imagine being in South Ken? It was extraordinary. It was like sort of the center of the universe. Hypnosis began because I met a man who published books. And he, um, we, we, he was publishing a book by my friend's girlfriend who had written a kid's story. And this guy was endeavoring to seduce the girl and then proceeded to get pissed as a newt. During which time I said, would, would you like me to do some book covers for you? But he was so drunk, he didn't know what he was saying. So he said, okay, thinking that I might be a route to the girl, which turned out not to be the case, but we did some book covers. Then subsequent to that, the Pink Floyd, and this is the band, they turned and said, what do you know about album covers? I said, not a lot, but they knew even less. So we did Saucerful. I had no idea what I was doing at all. As you can probably tell if you look at it, actually. When the Floyd chose the prism, it was unanimous. The late Rick, God bless him, said to me, he said, Storm, can we not have one of your pictures? I said, but pictures is what I do. He said, yeah, I know, but we've had them. Can't we have something else? I said, but Rick, he said, Storm, see it as a challenge. Grow up, be strong. I was so cross. I was so cross I did it.